Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of cloth reveal animations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.2.1, nice. So first of all, let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So let's import a model here. So here I got this model from Sketchfab, download link in the description if you want to use the same. So go to this file, import, it is an FBX file. So let me select this FBX and let me look at the file here and import. So here we got that model. So let me increase the scaling. So press S and increase the scaling here. Now press 3 for side view and let me place this just above to the grid here like this okay. So now let's add a ground plane so go to this add mesh select plane here press S and increase the scaling. So this is going to be the ground plane and let's duplicate the plane once again so shift plus D now press Z on the keyboard and let me place this here. So this is going to be the cloth here. So now we need to add subdivisions for this above surface. So press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, right click, add subdivide. Now come to these options here and let me increase the number of cuts to 75. So I think this many are enough. Now press again tab to exit this edit mode. So now let's apply cloth physics onto this above plane. So select this plane, come to this physics property, add cloth here. So in presets, I will be using this silk one. You can use either any of these so i will use this silk now let me scroll down and come to this collision options and enable this self collision and also let me increase the quality steps to 10. so now if i play this the plane will be falling down so now we need to add collision property for this model and also for this plane so select the model come to this physics property once again add collision so we have added collision for this so again select this plane add collision so for plane i will increase the friction value so i will increase the friction value to 10 so now let's play this so if i play this you can see the cloth is colliding with the object and also with the plane nice so now let me select this cloth right click shade smooth and also come to this modifier options add modifier add subdivision surface and levels viewport let me increase this to 2 so now we are getting a better look nice so now if i play this you can see we got our cloth simulation done so now let's see how we can pull this cloth upwards so for that let's move on to this starting frame so select this cloth or this above plane press tab for edit mode let me press 7 for top view and let me enable this x-ray vision so now let me select only these vertices here so i will select only these vertices here so now come to this object data properties and create a new vertex groups just select this plus icon here click on this plus icon here make sure the vertices are selected and click on this plus icon so if you want you can rename this one so i will rename this as and assign them here now come to this physics property and scroll down come to this shape options in pin group we need to select the group which we have created so select this hook spin okay so now press tab to exit this edit mode so now let me hide this extra vision so now if i play this you can see it's holding its position so if i move on to the extra vision we can see that it is not falling on this object but it is holding its position there nice so now let's add an empty so go to this add empty i will select this plane axis here so press z z and move it along the z axis so here we got this so now move back to the starting frame let's disable this x-ray vision now select this cloth come to this modifier options add modifier and add this hook modifier here so in object we need to select this plane axis here which is our empty select the empty in vertex group we need to select the group which we have created so here you can see we got this hook pins so select those hook pins here so now let's play this once again 
and see this so i think from 75th frame onwards let's pull this cloth upwards so select this plain axis or else this empty select the empty press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for this location let's say enable this x-ray vision and now let's move to this 210th frame and let's move this empty upward and let's bring it sideward here so let's place this press i once again and add a keyframe for this location so now here the vertices are getting stretched out so we need to change the position of this modifier in this modifier section so select the plane come to this modifier options here we need to place this hook modifier before this cloth modifier so select this hook modifier and place it just above this cloth modifier so now we can say the stretch is not there okay so now let's disable this x-ray vision and now if i play this we'll get our animation along with this cloth simulation nice so finally before baking this simulation let me increase the subdivision count so select the plane press tab on the keyboard press a to select all the vertices here right click and subdivide once again now i'll also increase this end value to 300 frames come to this physics property under the cache option let me increase this simulation start and end to 300 frames okay so once this is done just click on this bake button so it starts to bake the simulation and once the baking is done we are ready to render the same so in this way we can create this kind of cloth simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye